Saturday. It is freezing this morning, like really. Um, it's 8.30 right now and I am on my way to a Pilates reformer class. So um, with all my back pain and stuff like that, I asked my physio like what kind of exercises she would recommend just for the back issues that I have. So Pilates or on the reformer is one of the things she suggested and seeing as I did it last year and really enjoyed it, I signed up again. So last week was my first class and it was really good. So today is my second one and yeah, I just need to go fill up my car with petrol which really makes me sad, um, but I really pushed it. It's almost in the red, so um, I'm gonna have to put some gas in. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the class, then I'm gonna meet up with a friend for some coffee, maybe lunch, I don't know, um, which is really exciting. And then we're gonna go buy groceries for next week. So that's kind of the plan for today. Apparently it's gonna rain later. It's like super sunny. And like it's a beautiful morning it's just cold but like there's no like clouds in the sky and stuff like that so i don't know where the rain is but apparently it's like 90 percent rain this afternoon so most probably when i come back there will be some rain um and then i also remembered my willies bags so when we go grocery shopping we don't have to buy any bags because i I'm not buying any bags. Lately, whenever we forget, I load it into the trolley and I put it like individually in the bag because I refuse to buy one more bag. We have way too many. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, I'm also trying to let the car like, like heat up a little bit, have a little bit of grace with the car because I feel it's so cold. Um, so anyway, yes, let's go put in some petrol. I did want to stop by some coffee place to get like a coffee before I get there, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time. Um, this week they opened a new Starbucks next to the petrol station that I'm going to go put in some petrol. Um, so I thought I could pop in there, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time, nor do I know if it's good for me to have coffee like straight before a workout. Um, but yeah, so it's freezing. Anyway, let's, let's get going. Okay, so I need to get out of this jacket. But the sun is also like sh freaking shining in my face here. Yeah. But I got a parking literally in front of the place, which is good. But you have to pay for parking here on a Saturday, which I find to be so strange and quite silly, to be honest with you. Um, I don't remember that we paid for parking last week, so I don't really know if it's just because I'm in the main road or if it's because there was no one, no parking guard there um, last Saturday. Anyway, so I'm going to put my rain jacket in the back just because clearly I don't need it right now because you can see the sun's like clearing um but yeah I'm a little bit early so I'm just gonna wait for a minute and then and then I'm gonna head on in wish me luck okay so I'm done with my Pilates. I just want to quickly um, put back on my top because as you can see, I'm still in my workout stuff. Um, what an amazing class. It was so nice. So, so happy that I went. And I think it's doing wonders for my back because I had like zero pain with my back or any issues. Um, yes, so I'm at Tiger Valley now. Drove all the way from Sea Point here. So I'm just going to head in and then grab the biggest cup of coffee because I'm dying for a big cup of coffee and then maybe do a little bit of shopping and then later we will go and buy our groceries.
Okay, so I just got home. It is, what's the time now? Almost five, it's like five to five. What a long day, um, but a really, really fun day. It is storming outside. The ocean is like so rough and it just started raining as well. I mean, I thought the rain was gonna come this morning, but it only started raining now. So I'm guessing it's gonna like rain into the evening, but the wind is also like crazy, which is weird because normally winter time, we don't get like wind really here. That's more like a summer thing, but the wind is like going crazy. Anyway, I'm tired. Um, I kind of wanna just, you know, go take a shower, wash my makeup off, and then go and watch a movie. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Jason isn't here, so it's just me in the bun, and he's like running around and stuff. Um, but yeah, I stopped to get groceries after my coffee date. I think we went from like our coffee date was like from 11 to like 3:30. We had a lot of catching up to do, which was really, really nice. Um, and yeah, then I just went to Checkers and to Willie's quickly to do groceries for the week. We've been doing really well with sticking to our budget. We're very strict with it. Um, we have a very small amount we can spend per week. And because we go every week, it's easier to stick to that budget um, and not to go then like ad hoc because going weekly versus going monthly you kind of get that sense of going to the shop more regularly to get like new and exciting things so then you tend to not go like randomly and then spend that extra little bit of cash which then all adds up and then you go over the, your budget so it's been working really well to like strictly go um, on a weekend for the next week so we've been doing like really well with that so yeah um it's hard because you know we really want to be on a budget and not go over like by one rand at all um so you know sometimes you go to the shop especially when you go and you're hungry then you want to buy like stuff that wasn't on your list and then you know you go over your amount your allocated amount for the week but We've been so strict that that hasn't happened yet. So yeah, anyway, let me show you what I got. The only thing I got at Checkers was chicken breasts. We like to buy these and they tend to be on special. Oops. So it's just these chicken breast fillets that we buy. We buy a big pack and because they're individually wrapped, it's easy to freeze it because it's individually wrapped and you can take it out of this big thing so then you can like stack it in a way where it doesn't take up so much space in our very very tiny freezer um, and then the rest of the things are woolly stuff uh, again I think I mentioned earlier but I remembered my bags um, we tend to now keep like a stash of bags in every car so that whichever car we take to go somewhere there's always some bags because I refuse to buy one more bag from Willie's. We have way, way more than we should. The other day we went and I forgot, it was before I put the bags in my car, so we didn't have any and then I refused. I packed all the items individually in the car because I was like, I'm not, I'm not spending one cent on a bag and also we don't have that much storage space where I can just hoard all these like bags so anyway um but yeah now i did remember to take them so i got this rainbow coleslaw we're gonna make wraps somewhere this week so i got some of that i got some of these pineapple rings because i can eat pineapple in anything so i usually tend to put that in my wrap then they had a special on the tuna so i just got the tuna in like water so i think it was four for 70 rand so i got that that's just nice to have for like the random days where we might not make like a big meal we just want to make like a tuna salad or tuna sandwich or something it's getting so dark in here now um 
Anyway, so I just got some peanut butter because I've been on the peanut butter train lately. I like the no added salt and sugar one from Woolies. Then I just got some apples. I still have some fruit left from last week, so I only needed to buy like one bag of apples. I eat quite a lot of fruit, but I, I don't know how that happened, but I still had some left from last week, so um, I have more than enough fruit for the week coming. And then I got... A big bag of the crispy chicken breast strips. Uh, I like to put this in the wraps so that's what that is for. Last week we had the chicken nuggets, the bag of chicken nuggets, so good and we've had the fish fingers, so good. Um, then I just got again standard these avo dips. This spicy jalapeno one is so good and it's so good in like wraps or burritos or something just to add some spiciness to it it's it's so good what's next oh then they had a special on this moroccan pork rib steaks um these are like so tasty so flavorful easy to cook it's not like massive chunky big steaks which i like then i just got some frozen like box of chicken burgers I don't know if you can tell but the train for this week is going to be chicken and I only realized that like after I bought everything I was like I'm going to literally have like chicken every single day um, which I don't mind and then I wanted to buy oxtail but it was quite expensive I thought maybe checkers would have a special but they didn't so I ended up not buying oxtail but they did have a special on the mac and cheese with bacon and yeah so we got one of these um, the only thing I hate about these is this stupid film that they put on this and we haven't bought one of these in ages but like that film like come on get with the program willies surely there's a better like invention of that because that plastic film is nonsense it like always tears like skew or like in and then later on I feel like I try to get all the plastic off but I can't it's impossible and then I end up putting my food in the oven and I'm assuming the plastic just melts into my food so anyway that really sucks and then the last bag is just some tortilla wraps I do like these ones so we got that for the wraps and then some burger buns for Jason for the burgers and these ones for me I did not buy the gluten-free ones this week. I've been gluten-free now for the last month or so, like 90%. Um, and it's been really good. And I felt definitely felt a difference. But I think that that is not the cause really or the main issue that I have with being bloated all the time and stuff like that. So... I'm still trying to avoid bread and stuff and gluten in general as much as I can. But we're going to have burgers this week. It's one evening. It's not that bad. So I took the whole wheat rolls because also the gluten-free ones are really significantly more expensive than the normal ones. So yeah, it's, it's not the end of the world. Um, but I haven't had like normal bread in like a month or two and I really don't miss it so for me it's good that that is kind of like something that's gone and I haven't had pasta in more than a month which is also great but I have turned up my intermittent fasting to be a little bit more strict than I used to be and I've only done it for this week and I feel like 10 times better already I think what's making the difference is the fact that I stop eating at six o'clock in the evening and turn up the light here. Yeah. Um, I think that is making like a big big difference because I think for me going to bed kind of with a full tummy is what's making me feel really bad the next morning. So I've now seen for the last week because I stopped eating at six in the evening I feel a lot better and like lighter the next morning. So I'm going to see how it goes. I do track my intermittent fasting on an app. It's just easier to keep 
tracking it that way because it sends me reminders when you know like my eating window is going to close or whatever so otherwise I'm going to forget you know I get busy and then I forget uh, it's already like six o'clock you should have had dinner or whatever um, but yeah I think for me it's always worked for me and I mean I can just feel from doing it this week like super strict I already feel like 10 times better regarding this morning's Pilates class it was amazing it was really like every time I go like it is so 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 good I like love it if it was not that expensive I would go like every day and also if my schedule actually allowed it because a lot of the classes in the morning and I work in an office nine to five I cannot go to a class in the morning so Saturdays is just kind of the best time that I actually have available to go and also it's expensive so the more I go the more obviously I have to pay but for now I feel it's I haven't loved a workout as much as I've really loved this so far so definitely something that I will most probably continue to do for as long as I can afford to do it um, it's been so good especially for my back as well I think it's been a really good strengthening exercise for my back without like straining my back so yeah anyway that's been great um, I'm gonna pack these things away and then let's go and take a shower and wash off this makeup I do want to show you before I end this vlog the new products that I use for the evening time it's not very fancy it's not very like complicated it's just three things that I put on my face before I go to bed so I'm going to show you that when I take a shower unpacked the food stuff I put some dinner in the oven and now I want to take a nice hot shower it is now like properly pouring with rain um, but I just wanted to show you what I use to get all of this off and what I put on my face afterwards so if you've watched any <laughs> of my previous videos for the last year I've been using this CeraVe face wash, the foaming facial cleanser. This one is my favorite one. I've tried the other green one. I can't remember which, what's the name. I've tried that one. I don't like it as much as this one. This one for me is like the holy grail. I don't know if I'll ever use like a different face wash. Anyway, that one I use. And then afterwards, we've been using this advanced snail essence like that that's what it looks like and this stuff is amazing if you have a breakout if you have any kind of thing the next morning it's like gone this stuff is amazing so we've been using that and I've used snail stuff before on my face and I've loved it so anyway that one is really great and then next we use this centella asia Centella Asiatica extract. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, the point is it's really all that ingredients really good for like redness and stuff. So we're using this one from I think the brand is called Bento Benton. Um, so this is also like amazing. It's like a clear gel. So it really helps with redness. And like just if you have like inflammation or like irritation, this is amazing and I tend to have like a lot of redness so that's really good and then my first eight beauty night cream is not done it's been I think seven or eight months of using that so it's so worth the money and I'm definitely going to repurchase it but for now we still had an extra 
survey and night cream um, and this one is good I mean it's not like my favorite night cream I love the first eight beauty one but this one is also good so because we have it still I'm using it so that's the routine for the evening and my skin feels amazing even going through you know stages of the month and stuff where I tend to have like breakouts I have like minimal breakouts and if I do this combination like clears it up like like this it is amazing I think for me what's worked for me in the last year or two years is to focus on stuff that doesn't have any fragrance in it I think that's number one because my skin is so sensitive I don't want to add anything onto my skin that can possibly irritate it so no fragrance and then just good good simple products I still have to put maybe a vitamin C and a retinol into my routine but I'm scared of that and there's so many brands out there so I don't actually know where to start or you know which one to buy because it's quite expensive generally so if I'm going to spend money on it I would like to spend money on one that is at least like worth it and not a waste so I don't know yet I really don't know but that's all stuff that's missing in my current routine but for now I'm very happy I just need to get Botox again um, that's something that's on my list but I don't think I'm gonna do it right now I think I will do it like towards the end of the year more like towards summertime maybe like I was aiming for like beginning of November around there I think I'll get another round of Botox just in my forehead and I don't know if I should get something here I don't know but my forehead is what bothers me the most and I've really liked the results previously with my Botox so yeah I think towards like November or so I'll go for another round anyway let's get into the shower and get this face just washed okay so I am just gonna put on my products now I just took a nice hot um, shower and it is raining so intensely which is so perfect to watch a movie um, anyway I just normally do like two pumps of the snail stuff as you can see it's pretty runny and just like a clear gel always the neck always the neck anyway as you can see red I am very prone to like red so this stuff is amazing and this is also as you can see just like a clear gel and it's like also super cooling so I think using it in summer if you have a slight burn from the sun I think this can be really good for that too there you go it's super smooth soothing and yeah just very nice and then lastly the cream and I just do like three small pumps there's not a lot that comes out um, so I did then do this and the more <laughs> glazed I look the better I feel and I think the better my skin does so I love to feel <laughs> like a glazed donut in the evening because normally then in the morning my skin is like really nice um, and then the leftover is usually on my hands which makes my hands feel super soft anyway um, that's it for my skincare I'm gonna go eat some dinner and oh I'm also gonna have this for dessert this is the Nanuki Boom Bar the metamorphic brownie one I always get this one this is the best guilt-free kind of snack or like treat after dinner I always get these they're not super cheap but one of these is like enough you don't want to have anything sweet once you've, you're done with this 
but it's free from preservatives, refined sugar, soy, gluten, dairy, and nuts. So there's basically nothing in there. Um, there's still sugar in here, it's just not refined. Um, I don't really know all the things that's in here, but anyway, um, it looks like this. This is my favorite one, but there's also like other flavors. I think there's like a matcha flavor and a caramel flavor. So yeah, I just like the brownie one. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching today's vlog and I will then see you in my next video. Bye!